Hello everybody, this is part 5 of my Call of Cthulhu uh, playthrough. So, we're in the, um, the Institute, we were looking for stuff <laughs> uh, I've got to distract the guards either by making pressure go or flicking switchy things and I just hope I'm not getting too technical for people there right so I've got yeah It's an ammeter. I didn't expect to see one on this little rock. So, two of them are up full, so there's obviously one somewhere up. Sorry, two of them. There's obviously worse and worse. Another two somewhere. Or I need to find. Is there a connection between this corpse and the machine? What does it say? The corpse is complete. Whose are these limbs? Right, so somewhere. If I walk, he does not stop. If I do not stop, he does not catch me. If he does not catch me, I do not sleep. If I do not sleep, I do not see him. I do not hear him. He does not call me. He does not call me. Get me out! Don't let me sleep if in I here. Walk, I do not stop. If I do not stop, I What can't. is well enough inside me? I feel it in my head and in my body. He roars and swells and has strength of oceans. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. Six. No, 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 not six. Four, five. Just a few days to go. Yeah, that's it. Four days or more. No more. Perhaps. Oh. Right My calculations are always right. It's the date. It's the date that the spread. That, that's, that's, that's the problem. I, I don't know what this date is. Go on, you piece of. Meat. We will not eat it anymore. Never again. We must not eat it. They must know that it's not good. Oh. Right back here. See if I can follow. Ah. Theoretically, I've only got one lever to push. Right, let's follow this. This red one. Yeah, be too fucking close to him for me to my like it. Oh, it's in there, isn't it? Uh, 
And he's gonna bleed and sue me. Oh yeah, toss pot. You, yeah, you there, come here. I don't Ooh. know what do you want. Sleep. That's all. Sleep. You don't want to leave? No. Have you seen the storm that's brewing? I'm fine here, except for one problem. You want sleeping pills, right? Yeah. And in exchange, I can make noise. Lots of noise. You'll draw the guards to your cell to allow me to escape. So, you in? Find something to make me sleep, and I'll take care of the guards for you. Is it the noise that disturbs you? No, it's the nightmares. We all have them here. That's what wakes us up. And afterwards, there's no way to get back to sleep. I'll find you some pills. Go look in the storage room. There must be sleeping pills there. Ooh, no. Have I found any? All got a character point. What? Just only to investigation. No, I don't. Uh, what have we got? Right, storage room. I can't remember where the fuck the storage room is. Right. I'm totally, totally lost. Locked. Exactly what I need. Oh. Right. Oh, balls. Ah. That was just before I've asked the geezer, spoke to the geezer. Created all that shit. Ah, that's the one. Yeah, he did a checkpoint when I did the, the third lever. Where was the storage for you, man? You see? Ah! No. Oh, that's right, this is where, this is where my cell was, wasn't it? room was over this way, I think. Oh, this is the pipe place. But I need another... I need another end. Ah, I think that's the story true. This 
she's going to mention the handle and found one. I made another one. With these chains on your wrist, you can't escape. Ah, shit. At least I know that I'm... Mind you, are they going to be... Oh, fuck. If I haven't spoken to that geezer, are the pills going to be there? Come on, show yourself. Go, boy, you lad. Is anybody them. here? Right, so I followed the red what's it. Might need to talk to that bloke before the pills appear. That's it, that comes through to there. Did he go there? No. Next row. You. Yeah, you there. No. Not now. No. Not now. Right. So from him. Where the fuck is the storage room? There's that me. Okay, uh, that's where I've got to... Got to go. Oh, here it is, I think. Right, back in the storage room. Which way are you coming? Pharmacy. Oh, there's got to be something quick. I think we got a walker. Scopolamine, morphine, opium, nothing but common drugs. Right, so at least I know I haven't got to speak to that bloke again because there wasn't that option. 
Wo oh, so bin ich? Naja. Zoology, Esotericism, Mineralogy, and a full shelf on cephalopods. Sarah Hawkins. She was a patient here. So we're gonna hold you out. Dementia, self inflicted wounds. Anatomy, anthropology, nothing surprising. Where the fuck is this? Ooh, shit, 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 shit. you there come here i don't know what you're doing there but you don't seem to be friends with the nurses i can help you help me and i'll owe you one i don't know what you want what do you want sleep that's all sleep you don't want to leave no have you seen the storm that's brewing i'm fine here except for one problem you want sleeping pills right yeah and in exchange, I can make noise. Lots of noise. You'll draw the guards to your cell to allow me to escape. So, you in? Find something to make me sleep, and I'll take care of the guards for you. I'll find you some pills. Go look in the storage room. There must be sleeping pills there. So maybe... Maybe you do need to... Let's find the bloody storage room again. Oh, God, come in. Right, there's the electric room. I think it's there. Oh, fuck. Ah. Where's the storage room? This it? No. This is a pipe room. Ah! Oh, we'll already switch that. Bollocks. Got excited for a second there. There's the storage room. Shit. 
They come in here. Right, so it goes there, you just turn around and go back. With these chains on your wrist, you can't escape. So the chain on this where the fuck's the or the wheel or the bloody sleeping pills? It's gotta be in that in that next room. They're not there. Well, they're bloody well hidden. Where do they keep their sleeping pills? Yeah, that's what I want to fucking know. Come on. Scopolamine, morphine, opium, nothing. Ah, yes. My new friend's sleeping pills. Uh, which way does he go? Oh. oh, come on, come on, come on. Now I'm going to do this fucker. Right. There was the guard, guard in that. Uh, where that red wire was going. There was a red cat, there was a guard, guard at the door, there was the, yeah, here we go. There was the only before this. I think we got a walker. Oh, fuck off. For one then. <coughs> oh, I could have sworn it was in. <coughs> oh, pardon, mate. Oh, shit.
Fuck off. I've got what you want. Show me! There. And remember, they don't come for free. Don't you worry, you'll have your diversion. Go on now, go hide yourself. The mm. crows, they're everywhere! Make them go away! Oh, piss off, you bastard! Mind you, I'm gonna do some checkpoint. I'm hoping the checkpoint. Gross, they're yeah. everywhere! Make them go away! Help! 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 Lock now! The birds, they're attacking! Uh, that nonsense again. Right. I think we've got a walker. You there! What car? Ah, oh, yeah, shit bag. <laughs> right. The crows, they're everywhere. Make them go away. Come on. There we go. All the levers are activated. Don't look Who's over there? there. You there. Ah, ball bags. Right, so all the thingy my bobs have are activated now. Dozy fuck. I saw something over there. Yes. That should draw the attention of the guards. I should hide. Damn it! I think we've got a walk. Don't 
So this should move those two guards from... Not going to be that easy though, is he? Oh, it is. Damn. No, it's not. What the? Doctor, is that you? Don't you worry about the doctor. Right now, he'll have plenty to keep him busy with his precious machine. It gives us time to get away. I'll undo you. Get away? Get away where? I, I can't go anywhere. It'll find me, like it found me here. Mistaken about the beast. Don't stay with me, or you'll end up the same way. You're Sanders, aren't you? I heard you from my cell. What did they do to you? What does Fuller want with you? The doctor? Do you think it's the doctor who scares me? The doctor wants to heal me. But he's the one who's crazy. He wants to restore my sight. He wants to give me back my eyes. And yet I told him that I didn't want him. I do not want to see it anymore. The real culprit is Sarah. Her and her accursed paintings. You're kidding me. You're talking about Sarah Hawkins. <laughs> the one and only. The legendary. There is no artist more enlightened or cursed than Sarah Hawkins. In her office, I saw signs of a ritual, perhaps an invocation. These things, that's what makes you say she's cursed. You're wrong. It was not an invocation, but a revocation. <laughs> but she failed. And that's what counts. What's going on on this island? I'm... I'm so sorry. We should never have met. What are you talking about? Destiny! It has trapped you! Don't let it see you, or you won't be able to escape it. Don't look at it! That's how it finds you! What finds me? Sarah Hawkins visitor! The Shambler! Sanders, pull yourself together. Without her, it's no longer possible to save me. Me. No! Sanders! What the hell? I got it. This is insane. What killed him? Oh, but this is a better way out. Gassy stuff. <coughs> oh, you fucking joking. <laughs> oh. Damn. <coughs> the gas. Oh, shite. My head. Later. We need to move on. Mm. <coughs> well, Pierce worked for the asylum. <clears throat> he saw the sellers of the Sergeant Institute. 
He left Dr. Calder, a female friend of Bradley, who helped him to escape. Wandering through the crowd of this place, where Dr. Fuller reigns with Reem, Pierce was able to talk to a man called Francis Sanders. Before dying, in full view of the detective, he accused Sarah Hawkins of being the cause of his torment. Pierce finally left the accursed building, accompanied by Bradley and Calder. The companions in misfortune decided to use the Hawkins mansion as a hideout. Ooh, it's a squiddly diddly thing. <coughs> I need something to drink. Who goes there? That nightmare again. I need a drink. Mr. Pierce, how do you feel? <laughs> Rough. Did I sleep bong? The day is only starting. It's fine. How's our fugitive? Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance to the force, but that'll come soon. Bradley? Who else would it be? Mr. Pierce, are you alright? You look like you saw a ghost. I... There are things I can't explain. Tell us, what happened? <coughs> no, I can't say that one. Okay. What I'm sure of now is that the Hawkins case isn't just an accident. And what brings you to that conclusion? The fact that Charles Hawkins survived the fire. I don't understand. Mr. Hawkins was buried. That's what he would have you believe. I have a hard time believing you. You were there, Bradley. You even opened fire on him. I'd remember that. Why would he fake his own death? Do you think he covered up his wife's murder? That's possible. It seems hard to swallow. Don't you have anything more concrete, Pierce? Bradley, what do you remember? I don't understand your question. The night we went into the Hawkins mansion, you don't seem to remember the tunnels and what occurred there. Uh, no memory of going down any tunnel. No, we were in the manor then, uh... Then what? I, uh... The rest is quite blurry. I don't recall how I came back home. And then? <laughs> I went to visit you at the hospital. And called on Marie's help to get you released. And you don't remember the events of the tunnel? I don't. Let's talk about something else. Just bear with me a sec. Sorry about that. I heard you talking earlier. Why am I not surprised? I get the impression you two don't get along. Intrusive and not very clever. Anyway, let's get back to the business at hand.
Dr. Fuller seems to be leaving a trail of corpses. Not to mention those strange machines, chains, and tools of all kind. Yes. I've been telling you that Fuller uses his patients as guinea pigs. What I saw was more akin to torture than medicine. Do you even hear what you're saying? Dr. Fuller is highly respected. It's the truth, Ethan. And I'll prove it to you. I'm listening, Mr. Pierce. I found a file bearing Sarah Hawkins' name in the Institute's basement. It makes sense. A powerful family like the Hawkins had the means to hide such a disgrace. But everyone knows the Fullers have been taking care of the Hawkins for at least a generation. And all were aware of Mrs. Hawkins' fragility. Perhaps, but no one would allow a psychiatric internment. From what I read in the file, Fuller used her as a subject of his experiments. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins, subjects of Dr. Fuller. Why those two? Given the energy he pours into Riverside, I presume it was Fuller's creation. His father's, to be correct. He was a surgeon on board the Scylla. He founded the hospital in 1904 with funds from the Hawkins family before he died and his son Thomas Fuller took over. Two families inextricably linked. Most island families are that way. Captain Fitzroy's father was also a seaman aboard the Scylla. Powerful families dominating everything. Yes, and as you could tell, Dr. Fuller is like some crazed emperor. He wouldn't be happy if he knew we were snooping around. I know the risks. I don't fear him. Do you wish to know anything else? Mm -hmm. Oh, I've got enough budget for that. I have flashbacks. They haunt me. What did they do to you? There was that doctor, Fuller, and a nurse. Blood everywhere. My legs, the pain, I, I couldn't bear it. I was screaming. They injected me with something. I woke up at the Institute. Bradley was there. And how you scared us. You seemed... demented. You likely woke up during the anesthesia. No wonder those memories haunt you. What in God's name were they doing to you? What happened afterwards? When I woke up the second time, I was in a padded cell. That's where you found me, Doctor. After you released me, I got a good look at what's in store for the patients of the Riverside Institute. Hallucinogenic gas pumped into the cells. An infernal machine. Horrific medical experiments. Impossible. Dr. Fuller would never do such a thing. You should believe it, Ethan. What Mr. Pierce saw is precisely what I've been trying to prove. Did you discover anything else? Uh. I met a Francis Sanders. Do you know him? Of course. He's a patient. Or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He knew Sarah Hawkins. And that's what killed him. What? How did he die? I'm not sure I can explain it. Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. <laughs> now you get a don't like an idiot. Right, uh, just bear with me. I've just got to go and take my brother's plate away and give him his medication. I'll be back shortly. Uh, right. I didn't see what, but something was there with us. Of what do you speak? Sanders said it was Sarah Hawkins' visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins? Have I missed something here? Yes. This makes no sense. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You really think she's involved? How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Francis Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no coincidence. You know, Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. 
I guess you can still pay a visit to his wife, Irene Sanders. An art collector, you say? That's probably how they met. If you plan on having dinner at the Sanders household, please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of it. You're gonna sound like an absolute raving lunatic if you tell her. You see him floating up in the air and thrown to the floor. You're right. Without a plausible explanation for what I saw, let's not jump to conclusions. That seems wise indeed. Very well. I'll go to see Francis. Oh, this will affect widow. your destiny. Perhaps I'll find a link between her husband's death and Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. <laughs> I'll do my best. Oh, we've got four thingamabobs, right. Oh, what you looking for? Um, might need strength. Go on, Mark. Let's have a lot of investigation. Oh, we've got no more. Okay, let's go with that. Charles Hawkins, who's a squiddly diddly. This man is dangerous, and I swear he knows more about this business. Mm. Yep. The other night's events are still confused in my head. Let us go now, and learn the truth about what's happening on this island. Okie dokie. Don't know how to get out of this place, but... Oh! Ten minute warning. Pierce Con... Calder and Bradley, blah, 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 blah. Try and get my words out. Pierce, Calder and Bradley decide to team up to solve the Sarah Hawkins case. They have a new trail to follow. Francis Saunders, an art collector and friend of the painter who died right in front of Pierce. The detective goes to his house in order to speak to his widow about the Shambler. That unfortunate man mentioned before he died. What can I do for you, sir? Mrs. Sanders? I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? You may. However, before we go any further, please know that my husband died yesterday. That is precisely what brings me in. Well, well. Look who's here. Ah. How's she tied up in all this? You know each other. We met briefly. Time enough to iron out a few matters. The main thing is that we understood one another. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating France's death? Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very well, Miss Baker. This way, Mr. Pierce. And do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me.
May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? Yesterday. I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. How was he? <coughs> was he present when he had this attack? What happened? I'm not going to say he died screaming right before my eyes. I expected to find you more grief-stricken than this by the death of your husband. I do not like the tone of your illusion, sir. I had long months to weep every tear in my body, and to accept, if not my fate, at least that of my husband. And so I'm sorry to disappoint you if you're expecting more hysteria and grieving widow in my voice. Rest assured, however, my anger is real. I need to understand. How could this happen in a reputed institute? And, and right before your eyes, did you not do anything to help him? <laughs> Mrs. Sanders, I understand your grief and I extend my deepest condolences to you. But I had nothing to do with the death of your husband. I've just arrived on Darkwater. I'm investigating the death of the Hawkins family. The death of the Hawkins family? You mean it was not an accident? Oh, this accursed island knows only tragedy after tragedy. You too would be advised to flee it like the plague. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me, and then leave. Uh... Right. Did your husband talk to you about Sarah Hawkins' visitor? A shambler, to use his precise terms. <laughs> well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Hold on. The shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Who else to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself. If you feel so inclined. It is my only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. What the then you have paid no heed. For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you are so eager to see it. Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. Ooh. Got character points. Ooh. Ooh. Got hundred percent some investigation there. Day the Shambler came into the Sanders' lives. Ooh. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, even? A house of artists. A house of artists.
I can't leave the room. Xander's accession register. He wrote beside the Shambler. Finally. What did Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell the painting? Ah. He finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? Was she jealous of Sarah Hawkins? She first refused to sell the painting. How did that make her feel? to see it. I don't want to suck his feet. <laughs> I'd be on the first bloody boat out of there. Did she really care for him after all? Dear man, I acknowledge you say the letter which you demand the body of your deceased husband. I'm sorry to inform you that I cannot agree to return his body to you. Ma'am, to his interment, he signed a discharge, allowing me to dispose of his body so I see fit. I spend my deepest condolences to him. That's a bit... A bit rough, innit? Where's the... Let's see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. Ooh. A recording that Francis Sand has left for his wife Irene. A strange Amerindian pendant. Ancient amulet, probably Amerindian. Work of a student in book form. Although the observation is relevant, they lack the expertise and experience of the physician. Of the questions asked allows to imagine new ways of exploring human anatomy. What are we doing at the time? Oh shit! Shit, 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 shit. I've got a mini. So, I'm going to have to read in. Did you read the book? This will affect your destiny, Mare Malos Bestiarum. It is a kind of encyclopedia of monsters and unknown creatures. Game saved. Oh, yes. Right then. Uh, I've got 10 seconds before it starts overwriting, so thank you everybody for watching. Uh, look forward to seeing you on the next part. Hope you're having a good day. I'll see you soon. Try to be.